Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mini Virginia here. Uh, kind of a different video today. Uh, one thing that I have been asked on stream and also within my friend group that watch my streams, um, how to download Clone Hero, a game that I'm really well known for on streaming uh, to the people who follow me. Once again, thank you to everybody who's following and subscribing on my different channels. Um, and today, like I said, a lot of people have been asking me how to download Clone Hero, where to get songs, uh, how to set up properly. And that's something I'm going to go through with you today. Hopefully this won't be a long video, uh, but I'm going to go through how to download Clone Hero itself, how to put songs into Clone Hero, and then a basic setup. I won't be going through stream setup, but I will mention that a bit later. So, the first thing you're going to want to do, first of all, you're going to see my OBS settings. Whoops! <laughs> I am not professional at this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download Clone Hero itself. If you look up Sirian the Second on YouTube, I'll show you his uh, channel here. Sirian the Second. Hello, Nixie. I'm, I'm making a video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sirian um, the Second. He's the one that makes Clone Hero. He's the main guy behind all of it. There's a big group of them that work on the programming, art, and everything. But he's the main guy, and he's where you go to get all of your updates. Uh, on his channel, you go to his videos and look up the most recent update video, which at this point is the 17th of the 7th, 2018. Which, this is the most recent download and possibly the last update to the game. Because they're working on a new game to uh, better work with uh, outside of Unity, make a better game engine. So, you just press download here. It comes up as a ROM file. A uh, RAW file, I mean. So you can download it. If there's too many downloads, try the mirror. I've already got this set up, so I'm not going to be doing uh, anything major to it. But yeah, you just press the download link, and you basically got Clone Hero there. It doesn't have any installers. All of the files are on that um, 7-zip disk. Uh, se I will get the name right eventually. Uh, just in your extract whatever extraction tool you use. I use WinRAR, but whatever one you use, just press Extract to... Find wherever you want to get it downloaded. Okay. Right, now if we get out of this, hopefully, yep. You have this Clone Hero folder right here. And this has all the stuff you need. Uh, the data, putting in custom files, the song folder, and then the actual application itself. Where, when you literally, you just press this, there's no installer. It is just as it is there. As soon as it loads. <sighs> yep. And from there, you basically set up with Clone Hero. All you have to do then is get guitar. But you, a lot of people have also been saying, how do you get songs? I'm going to delete this one to make sure I don't get this mixed up with my main Clone Hero folder. The best site to use at the moment, and this is the one that people are using right now, is chorus.fight the dot pw i'll be leaving links in the description for all the main stuff and all you have to do is use the search bar type in a song name type in a band's name and as long as it has been charted by somebody and they've uploaded it it's usually here uh one song that i actually don't have that i wanted to download for to, uh for maybe tonight's stream is asylum by Disturbed. Works pretty much the same way. Click the link. You'll either be sent to a Google Doc or it'll download straight from the website. It'll usually quickly pop up with a little sub page, but then it'll close right afterwards. So yeah, Asylum has been put on there. And all you have to do with this is literally just press Extract to find your Clone Hero data and make sure you extract it to your songs folder. I don't know if you can move your songs folder around. I just leave all of the Clone Hero data on my uh, D drive. And then create the shortcut so it just automatically runs from there. So you just go into songs. 
I usually like to add a new folder because sometimes songs aren't given their own folder. They just are automatically put into a folder without being put into a separate little folder for itself to... Uh, and then after that, it, it can leak into other files. It's a bit of a problem with some people because if, if they don't zip a whole folder and they just zip the contents, it can cause problems. So I'm just going to name this one Disturbed Asylum. Okay. Uh, looks like that one had a folder anyway, but that one, it'll be fine for today's video. Right. So that's been extracted. Now what you do is you go into Clone Hero. Oh. I am very professional. Your guitar of choice. Go into settings. Press scan songs. And then this will go through where the Clone Hero directory is. And scan every folder. Make sure that all the songs... It will recognize if the song can't be played through Clone Hero. Uh, there may be a few errors. Like I have 65 bad songs right there. But as soon as that process is done. Just go to Quick Play. Search the song that you want to. And there it is. Ready for you to play. It is as simple as that. And there are so many songs for you to download. Some people have created spreadsheets. It's worth looking up the Clone Hero Discord. Um, I'm not going to personally put a link to the Discord invite because I'm not an active member of that Discord. Uh, so I'd see it a bit wrong. But if you look it up, it, it's pretty simple to get into it. But yeah, I have a set list of 3,349 songs. And it, it, like I said, it's so simple. It is basically extract to the songs folder and then you're done. You're completely fine. All these songs here have been are just on here ready to play so if, if I do go to and what's cool as well is that not only can you search for it by pressing the what's the blue button but you can also look up songs through song artist album whatever you want to do so I go and then playing the song literally bang straight up start no problem and as you can see, it is all working. Uh, some people ask me about setting up guitars. And that is... It can either be an arduous or... Um, expensive process. But if you know where to look, it shouldn't be too bad. I got this rock band guitar. The main one that I'm using for streaming at the moment. For £10 from a thrift store. They're not that hard to find. I wouldn't suggest going on eBay or Amazon uh, because sometimes people can be a bit, oh, they, they can overprice guitars. I've seen some go for 30 to 40 to the White Explorer, the uh, one that a lot of people love. That one I've seen go up to 50, um, especially in sites like over here. There's a UK shop, um, pre-owned shop known as CEX. Their prices can run up. I wouldn't suggest stuff like that. I would suggest going into charity shops, thrift shops, and um, possibly Facebook Market, and sometimes eBay. Just make sure that you're looking for the right price. But when it comes to setting up, it depends what guitar you're using. The Rock Band guitar I'm using is USB. You can just plug that straight into your laptop or PC, whatever you use for Clone Hero, and bang, plug it in. The game will recognize it's a controller. You should be fine. Um, Xbox especially I would suggest. Because not only does that have the lowest latency. But it also um, works automatically. Because it's classed as an Xbox controller. To the Windows um, operating system. You should be okay. Um, but I was using a PS2 one for a while, and um, I'm wondering if I can find it now. I did have... Right. Uh, PS2 you can use. There's simple USB to PS2 dongles you can find. Um, they're pretty sim they're, they're pretty cheap to find. It's just finding the right one. you you got to experiment. Sometimes it can be a bit expensive, but you got to think about 
like how serious are you playing Guitar Hero? If it's not too serious, you can go for a cheaper one. If it's a if, if you're going to be streaming it like I do, you may want to look for a more uh, branded one. I I just have a cheap one at the moment, but when it comes to going back to my PS2 controllers, I I do want to get a higher quality one. Um, PS3, I'm not too sure how to set up. From what I've seen, a lot of PS3 guitars use a dongle. You should just be able to slide that into the USB slot and it should sync up. But I've heard PS3 has bad latency. And with Wii, you're looking at trying to find an external program, uh, connecting the controller via Bluetooth. It was a messy process when I tried it. I don't personally recommend it. Um, other than that, I, I can't really think of anything else that you would need to know. If you're planning on streaming Clone Hero and you want a similar setup to what I personally do, which is um, this familiar little board right here, um, I'm going to leave a link to a size personal um, how to use Clone Hero on OBS. I use OBS software version 22.0.2 and it works like a dream. But I would just be repeating, so I'd rather put the link there and allow you to watch it. He has a detailed tutorial of how to do it, and it does honestly work. So, thank you very much for watching this. This is a bit of a different video for me, but um, there's been a lot of ask uh, people asking for this. So, I wanted to give my two cents. Allow people, uh, like, give a kind of, kind of detailed guide on how to do this. I I'm not very that detailed. Not very that detailed. Well done, Adam. You're trying to finish up a video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I uh, hope to catch you next stream if you're watching this. And as I always say, may your fridges be ever full. And I'll make sure to stay extra long, extra large, and extra live for you. Bye-bye.